Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie. Adam Gase is officially no longer a member of the New York Jets. Let's get hyped. We should be super excited. Today is the first day that it's officially Adam Gase is gone. He was fired last night right when they got back to the facility. I went live right when it happened and I had a bunch of Jets content creators join my stream. Guys like Jets Talk 24-7, Matt O'Leary, Gangrene David, Green Bean, Ali, everybody joined in. If you guys did not check out that live stream, make sure you do so because it was a very fun one and we were so excited and everybody gave their initial thoughts and reactions because that was a very good moment for Jets fans to finally get rid of somebody who just completely regressed this entire organization and set back this team for years. But in this video, I'll be bringing you guys my breakdown of Christopher Johnson's interview and why we should be very comfortable with what he had to say and that Joe Douglas will be leading the way in the head coaching search. And we also have four official candidates that the Jets will be interviewing. So in this video, I'll be giving my thoughts on those. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be giving you guys the latest news and content all throughout the off season. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up. With that being said, let's jump right into it. So first, I want to talk about Christopher Johnson's interview. This is the first time we heard from him after this terrible season. And honestly, he had a lot of good things to say that should give Jets fans comfort, especially for me. This Jets head coach needs to be somebody that is not a schematic guy, someone that's not going to coach one side of the of the ball like Adam Gase was. And it's refreshing to hear that Christopher Johnson said just that. He said that he wants to hire a CEO type of head coach and he wants him to hire a very good staff underneath him that can change the culture. He does not want to bring in somebody that coaches one side of the ball. That is refreshing to hear because obviously two years ago we did the opposite. We hired Adam Gase and he was supposed to bring in his brilliant offensive mind. He was supposed to develop Sam Darnold and it did not work. It was a complete mess. So for Christopher Johnson to say that this is the type of head coach we're looking for is a guy to come in here, coach the entire team and develop the young talent don't just coach the offense or just the defense. We need somebody to change the culture, be a head coach, and hire a really brilliant staff underneath him. It's really refreshing to hear that because that's exactly what I wanted the Jets to do for their next head coach, and that's exactly what they're doing. Another thing that should get Jets fans excited is Joe Douglas will be leading the search. Christopher Johnson said he will have the final say, but Joe Douglas' recommendation will be Christopher Johnson's final say. He will be the head honcho of the search. Joe Douglas will be getting into the, every single interview, and he's going to find somebody that he really connects to on another level where he they have the same vision, and they need to get a guy in here that can, number one, develop a quarterback, whether it's a quarterback that we draft or we keep Sam Darnold. I do not think we're keeping Sam Darnold, though. I'm going to get that get into that later on the video. But I'm just really excited that Joe Douglas has been handed the keys to the kingdom because Christopher Johnson was raving about Joe Douglas this entire interview saying, we've been looking for a GM like Douglas for decades now and Joe is the guy. He is going to be the guy that's going to be leading this team every single offseason and making all the right decisions. And we need Joe Douglas to do that. And I have all my faith into Joe Douglas. I know a lot of Jets fans are very comfortable with Joe and we've never felt this secure with a guy like Joe Douglas. He's a football mind. It's not like Mike McCagnon, who's a, a cap space guru, apparently, and he was terrible. Joe Douglas will be leading the search. And that just makes me excited. That should make you excited. It should really make us feel safe and comfortable that this is going to be Joe Douglas's guy. Another thing that Christopher Johnson said that's interesting is there's no timetable to when the head coach will be hired, but he said it could take up to a couple weeks or even less. It could happen way quicker than we expect. So that's interesting. So that is really all Christopher Johnson had to say. One other thing I want to talk about is he asked about Sam Darnold. Christopher Johnson said, I personally want Sam Darnold here to be the, the quarterback of the future. I think he has a lot of talent, but that decision is not up to me. That is up to Joe Douglas and the new head coach. That is an interesting take because obviously Christopher Johnson is not going to openly say, yeah, we're moving on from Sam Darnold. He's going to back up his guy but he definitely said Joe Douglas will make that decision. You guys know me. I've been supporting Sam Donald throughout my entire channel. And I'm going to give you guys my take on why I tweeted this out earlier today. For me personally, I'm somebody that will back up whoever is the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. I'm not somebody that can hate on a starting QB, whether they're playing really good, whether they're playing really bad. Every single play that Sam Donald plays well, I'm going to tweet out and support him. And when he plays bad, I admit it. I say that he's regressed. And I've said that throughout my channel, but I also 
try to give Jets fans some hope and say, maybe Sam can do this or maybe he can do that. And yes, I am definitely was wrong on a bunch of my takes because I really thought Sam would get it together. But I am here to admit it that I was wrong about Sam Donald and he regressed beyond comprehension. He looks like a bottom three quarterback last year. And it's definitely the right decision to move on from Sam Donald. Just because on my channel and, on, and all throughout Twitter, I've been backing him up and saying he's our guy does not mean I'm not open to them exploring new opportunities for a quarterback for a 2021. I am just somebody that whoever is the starting QB for the New York Jets, I'm supporting and I'm defending. That's just who I am. If you guys disagree with that, that is totally okay. I'm just giving you guys my take on why I've been supporting Sam Donald all throughout the season. Because again, whoever is behind center for my New York Jets, I will be defending no matter what. So let's get into the four coaches that we are hiring. These are not going to be the only four. These are just the first four that broke news. And while I'm uploading this video, there could have been somebody else that came out. But these are the four guys. We got Eric Behenemy, who is the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. We got Arthur Smith, who is the offensive coordinator for the Titans. Brian Dayball, who is the offensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills. And Matt Eberflus, who is the defensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. So these four guys are going to be the first four that we interview. Again, these are not gonna be the only four. There's gonna be a lot of other people that come up out of nowhere, but these are the first four that got reported today. So my take on these four is I like all four of them. The only surprise is the Colts defensive coordinator. We know we really expected him to come, but he is coaching one of the best defenses in the NFL. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. I think that a lot of Jets fans are comfortable with this list. I know that a lot of Jets fans want Brian Dable because what he did with Josh Allen and that Buffalo Bills offense is phenomenal. I know Arthur Smith is a hot topic because what he did with Ryan Tannehill and that Derrick Henry ran offense is very fluid, it's very balanced. I know a lot of Jets fans like him. And Eric Behenemy, we interviewed him two years ago and he was a hot topic back then. And he's going to be interviewed throughout all the... He just finished an interview with the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know if the enemy is going to be the guy, but me personally, I feel like he is a guy that could bring a really great offense, but I feel like Biennemi is a very underrated leader. For all the interviews and everything I've researched about Eric Biennemi, he's more than just a good offensive mind. Obviously, he's coming from Andy Reid's tree, and he has a similar mindset of Eric, uh, Eric, Andy Reid, but Eric Biennemi looks like a really good leader. So that's a good take on Eric Biennemi, and I like that they're interviewing him again, and the guy from... Indianapolis, I honestly don't know too much about him other than he is just a really good defensive mind because the Indianapolis Colts defense was top three this year. So these are the four guys. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. I'm going to make more in-depth videos on all the coaching candidates. I don't want to go deep into all four of them right now in this video. In this one, I just want to talk about how happy we should be that Adam Gase is gone and how safe and comfortable and confident we should be in Joe Douglas to make the right decision on who will be the next head coach for the New York Jets. I love that Christopher Johnson said that it's going to be a C CEO type of head coach. We need somebody to come in here, be a leader of men, hire a really good staff underneath him, and change the culture. This Jets team needs it desperately. We made the worst decision in our entire organizational history probably two years ago by bringing Adam Gase in here. So Christopher Johnson learned from his mistakes. He understands that he made a mistake, and he knows that he's going to be given the keys to the kingdom to Joe Douglas. Another thing that I did not even mention that Christopher Johnson mentioned is they're considering a structural train uh, a structural change excuse me in the whole head coach gm ownership the way they communicate and what i mean by that the way it is this year or the past year was adam gase and joe douglas both reported to christopher johnson so they're considering changing it to head coach reports to douglas and douglas reports to the ownership that is way better i nobody understands the structural organizational thing that Christopher Johnson has where it's like the GM and the head coach are on the same level and then the owners all the way up here. It should definitely be owner, GM, head coach. And that's what they're considering changing. If that's what they do, that's a really good sign because Joe Douglas needs to be on top of this and being the head honcho of the entire New York Jets organization because he's a really brilliant football mind and that's what this Jets team needs. So that's a very good thing that Christopher Johnson said as well. I'm just really excited for this offseason. Jets fans should be excited. We have a potential new head coach coming in. We have a potential new quarterback. We have a lot of draft capital. We have a lot of draft picks and cap space. We have a lot of new things coming for this New York Jets team. 19 unrestricted free agents for the Jets. A lot of them will be walking out the door. 
I'm going to make so much videos about the offseason. So again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more Jets content. I'll be going live throughout the offseason. I'll be making content all throughout it. So again, don't you guys go anywhere. The New York Jets season is officially wrapped up and Adam Gase is no longer a head coach. Let's be hyped. If you're hyped up about Adam Gase being fired, hit that thumbs up button. That does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I know it was a very dark season for the Jets in 2020. And I'm happy that we all got through it. For everybody that's been sticking through this channel throughout the entire season of this craziness, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. This channel grew a lot throughout the season. So again, I appreciate every single one of you that stick, that's been liking that uh that's been hitting that like button all throughout the season, that's been commenting, that's been showing me a lot of support because I know that it's been a depressing, dark, sad season for the New York Jets. So again, thank you guys. I mean it. And it's only up from here. Let's go Jets. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.